Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Jupiter 50 to sync up with the MX-1. So setting up the Jupiter 50 to sync up with the MX-1 is actually a very easy process. Uh, only thing I have to do is go into menu, and now I'll go into system. Then I'll go into setup. Now I'm gonna choose sync, and now I'm gonna spin the dial wheel and turn the Jupiter 50 to slave, cursor down, to clock source, select USB. Now I'm gonna press the right button and system write these settings, so okay. Now it's completed, now I'm gonna press the exit button, press it again. So let's look at the MX-1 now and see what settings we need to be on. So first off, I make sure and press sync and I make sure I'm in the internal. So there's a couple different choices I can choose, auto and all the different USBs, but I'm gonna choose internal. Now let's test our settings and make sure everything is working correctly. So I have my uh, Jupiter 50 and I have my chainsaw sound. Now what I'm gonna do to test it is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the arpeggio inside the Jupiter 50 and press the hold button and we're gonna test for uh, the tempo sync first off. So let's go ahead and play something. Already you can see that inside the Jupiter 50 it says the tempo is to MIDI and we have MIDI being chosen by the MX-1 over USB. So now let's go ahead and spin the dial wheel for the tempo in the MX-1. Good, obviously you can hear it, that's great. Now let's test the beat effects inside the MX-1 and make sure that the Jupiter 50 is working correctly. Now in order to do that, I have to make sure the red light is lit on the MX-1 for beat effects, but I also have to make sure the start and stop button is pressed. Good, so we can hear the side chain kicking in. There's a slicer. Now let's go ahead and adjust a little bit. Let's take it all off. And I'm gonna have a little bit of that filter kick in on one, five, nine, and 13. And here we go. Great. All the beat effects seem to be working fine. Let's stop the beat effects. Now let's go into the MFX and hear some of those as well. So I always like to choose the delay. And now let's play with it. Great, now let's try scatter. And now let's try the last one, roll. So as you see, setting up the Jupiter 50 to sync up with the MX-1 is very, very easy. Uh, you guys try this at the house and I think it's going to really elevate your performance. Take care and we'll talk to you later.